Hi, I'm Charles Kent and I'm a surgeon at South Paws. I'm going to talk to you briefly about some new technology that we've acquired, uh, which will allow us to make 3D plastic models of uh, different bones that we can scan on. Now the 3D printer is about the size of a normal kitchen dishwasher. And what it does is it squirts out a very small stream of melted plastic and basically builds the model from the base up. Uh, it includes uh, a support material which is dissolved away by a chemical reaction um, and then also uh, ABS plastic which is uh, what Legos are made of. Um, it's waterproof and it's also um, biocompatible which is uh, pretty exciting. So you can see the, the tip of the a machine just laying down a very, very thin layer um, of plastic to build the device from the bottom up. Traditionally, when we were examining a patient for potential surgery, we would just do a CT scan and get the axial slices and look at the bone structure in two dimensions on several sequential slices. Um, and at that point we thought that that was pretty good because it gave us a real insight to what was happening on the inside of the patient. Further software development allowed us to do 3D volume rendered reconstructions which um, allowed us to, in three dimensions, see where the tumor was involved and what anatomic structures were close by and were going to be at risk. Now with the 3D printer technology, we can actually print a plastic skull that we can hold in our hands and do uh, very accurate surgical planning. Uh, this is also very helpful for instructing clients as to exactly what we're planning on doing with their pet. Now once we have the plastic model, we can sit down and very accurately plan our surgical approach so that we can get complete surgical margins and also predict what anatomy we're going to run into when we're doing the surgery. This really facilitates uh, the surgery and allows us to avoid important anatomic structures and also uh, complete the surgery with less blood loss and in a shorter period of time. Now another area of interest that I've always had is developing orthopedic devices for patients and uh, we can create prototypes using CAD software that then we can apply uh, either to plastic models or even to the actual patient. These devices can be sterilized using um, uh, either a steam autoclave or uh, sterad sterilization and can be applied in clinical settings. Very detailed plastic models can be printed so that we can explain exactly what's going on with uh, a particular patient to the clients. In this model we can see a large coronoid fragment uh, associated with elbow dysplasia. These are produced with an extremely high level of detail uh, and can also be used for surgical planning. The other area where this technology can be used is printing models of bones that have complex growth abnormalities in order for surgical planning. We can also print bio-implantable devices uh, for patients that have bone defects. 